Andrew came home from work one Friday and told me that he didn't have a job anymore. They said it was for operational reasons and that's legal under the IR laws. Then two weeks later, they re-advertised my job for $25,000 less. They really used the laws just to save money. I used to always vote Liberal. But this year, the IR laws have wrecked my family and a lot of other families. It needs to be stopped. Two years ago, the Howard government introduced new IR laws called work choices. But far from having a choice, many working Australians have found they now have less choice. Employers have reduced their pay and conditions and some have used the new laws to sack people without warning or explanation. At the upcoming federal election, you will get a real choice to vote for these IR laws or against them. Ask yourself what kind of Australia you want for your family. A vote for the Liberal or National parties is a vote for the IR laws and the Howard government is likely to take them further. It's your choice, but before you make a final decision, please take the time to listen to just a few stories about how the IR laws have affected ordinary Australians. One day it could be you or someone close to you. After 34 years of service, I was sacked and then offered my job back with a 30% pay cut. I was sacked by text message. They didn't give me a reason. I refused to sign a contract that cut my pay. The day after the legislation came in, my job was terminated. No redundancy. I worked there for 25 years and it meant nothing. Two days after these new laws came in, I was sacked and I was told that there's nothing that I could do about it. If you work for an employer that has 100 or fewer workers, you won't any longer have any rights to complain of unfair dismissal. So that if your employer decides to get rid of you for a good reason or a bad reason or no reason at all, you don't have a comeback. Very few of us have the skills, the confidence, the knowledge to go in there and tackle the boss. And all the cards are in his hand. In the AWA, there's 17.5% loading we lose. We lose three annual public holidays a year. We don't get time and a quarter on a Thursday night, on a Saturday, time and a half Sunday's gone, and public holidays. So they were offering me $14.30 an hour, and my rate of pay now is $14.28. So for two cents an hour, I lost all those conditions. And it makes me so mad, you know, to think that they can get away with what they're doing. And it's about Australia got off its backside and stood up for what they believe in and tell them, no, it's not going to happen. It was my first job out of school. I wanted to make a good impression. The contract stated that I would be paid a rate of $10.20 an hour um, with no extra money for it. any overtime worked. I'd work 45 hours a week, Monday through to Friday. I'd be forced to provide my own superannuation, pay my own taxes. I wasn't entitled to any annual leave, sick days. I didn't have an opportunity to pass up the job. I needed the job and I just signed the contract. Well, the government says that employees always have a choice as to whether they accept or don't accept individual contracts. But if you're out there working in a pub or a cafe, a supermarket, call centre, and your employer says, here's this contract, sign it or you don't have a job, there's not a lot of choice there for many Australian workers. We were made redundant, but in the same meeting, told that we could be a contractor for $200 less a week, no annual leave, no sick leave, and no superannuation. After 34 years of service, I was sacked and then offered my job back with a 30% pay cut. If it happened to me, it can happen to you. I worked there for 25 years and it meant nothing. John Howard says, go get another job, but out here, there's not many jobs to get. I mean, John Howard was always my hero. I thought the world of him, I thought he was a good prime minister. But now, it's cho totally changed my way of thinking as far as he's concerned. Um, I'd like him to come to Coffs Harbour, sure. Um, come and have a chat to me and see what it's like in the real world. Australians have an important choice to make on election day. That choice will affect our working conditions for generations to come. We hope these stories will help you make an informed decision.